What's up everyone? Ashley with Techno Buffalo here. We are checking out iOS 7 for the iPad this time around. We have it set up and there are some differences between this and the iPhone version obviously because of scale. So let's check it out. Okay, so we are gonna wake up our iPad here. You can see we have a couple of new features. This is the control center. So now you can actually look at that. Uh, I'm assuming if you don't have a security code set up, I really like the addition of these five quick options. So do not disturb mode, uh, orientation lock, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and of course airplane mode for when uh, the FAA is gonna take, give us the right to have our iPads on while we take off, which will be really nice. Uh, so let's slide to unlock and let's check out the home screen. So here it is. This is iOS 7, not a, at first glance, not a whole lot different than iOS 6. It's, uh, it's still the same icon grid that we've seen traditionally from Apple, but there are some changes. So you'll notice uh, in the calendar, there is no more faux calendar. So this skeuomorphism uh, calendar with this sort of torn off edge over here in the upper corner is no longer there. With this really nice year view, we're able to get a nice glance of your year as a whole. And of course, month, week, day. You can see they've gone with this sort of white and red color theme. Uh, I'm gonna move on so we can check out lots of other stuff. So here's notes. It's no longer a yellow legal notepad, which I always thought looked ridiculous. And uh, they've now just sort of changed this. There's actually a little bit of a texture to the screen when you're looking at it. It's really interesting. It just looks like paper. So it looks as if this is typed on paper and I don't know if we can get that on camera, but it is there and it's very, very subtle and very interesting. Really quickly, this is the new share icon and here are those line art versions of copy print and we'll see some more later in a different app. Um, but we also have our message mail and different uh, apps you'll see in this bar here. So one of the things, just keep in mind that this bar and this share option is in the upper right hand corner because there's something design wise that I have a little bit of an issue with that I'm hoping they fix before the official release candidate comes out later this year. So that's notes, really simple, straightforward reminders, same type of thing. They also have this kind of textured paper um, that I, I wish you guys could really see in detail. It's, it's pretty subtle, which I prefer as opposed to the straightforward um, the very straightforwardness of that legal pad, that bright yellow legal pad with marker felt as the default font. Uh, we have, of course, our photos. Now uh, we can look at collections, uh, we can look at years. So, uh, of course, we don't have a lot of pictures on our lovely, uh, on our lovely office iPad, but if we're looking at something, say we wanted to look at this totally random picture I discovered on it of a dog, a red shirt dog wearing Vulcan ears, uh, here's that picture. Now, going back to the share button, this time in photos, the share button is down on the bottom left, which to me seems like a design flaw. And I, I tend to like to have my options in the same place for every single first party app. So uh, more line art. So we have some different options here, assigned to contact, airplay, uses wallpaper, print, copy, slideshow. We also have uh, message mail, iCloud, Twitter, Facebook, and Flickr for sharing. And I'm sure those will increase as you install other apps that will work with iOS 7. Uh, but yeah, that's photo. I, as I said, I, I didn't care for the fact that they've kind of moved these icons around just what feels willy nilly to me. So let's take a look at Game Center. I find Game Center to be very interesting. I'm glad that they changed the icon because Oh, that's another thing that's a little bit interesting. In this particular beta, this first beta, you have these really lovely animations for when you go into a folder from your home screen, but if it's in your dock, it just pops up. So I'm sure Apple will fix that, uh, but it's definitely something that somebody should bug report at some point. So here we are in Game Center. This is very different uh, from the look and feel of before. It's along the same lines, but not quite what we had before. So here's our lovely games, turns, challenges. You can see everything recommended games. So they'll say, hey, like we see that you are playing these games and that your friends are playing these games. Maybe you wanna check them out. So Ralph here at the office has been playing Infinity Blade and Infinity Blade 2. So it says, hey, maybe you wanna check that game out. If we have any challenges, they would be in here. Uh, we don't have any right now, obviously, but 
Just wanted to show you guys Game Center really quickly. One thing I'm really excited about, the ability to put newsstand into a folder. Finally, I don't have to look at that hideous wood shelving on my iPad anymore. And also they've, they've made this much, much nicer. So now you have this beautiful sort of, again, with the flat design, it's not made to look like something in real life. But newsstand, I think it just looks spectacular. And one of the things that I really like about it is that when you press the home button, you're no longer taken to your home screen. It takes you right back to whatever folder you were in when you, when you originally launched the app. Let's go and check out Siri. So Siri now has the ability to do a couple of new things. And we can now pick language. So if we wanted Siri to have maybe a British accent, we could pick English United Kingdom. And we can also pick, if you have English US, you can actually pick the gender of Siri. So we can pick a male Siri or a female Siri. Uh, so if we wanted to pick male, let's do that. And let's go and boot up Siri. Siri, what is Star Wars about? It's about a couple of really nice robots who get mixed up in a silly intergalactic war. So there we have a male Siri telling us what Star Wars is about. Funny, and on an Easter egg, if you didn't know, Siri would tell you uh, funny stories about movies with robots in them. So yeah, that's pretty much, um, we'll, let's try to get the, uh, the parallax feel of this. I'm trying to find the best way to sort of show it off. But you can see it's very subtle. And if you're into something a little less subtle, you can go into your settings and your brightness and wallpaper, and there are actually dynamic wallpapers. So very similar to live wallpapers in Android. You have this wallpaper preview. You can set this as your lock screen, your home screen, or both. So let's just set it as both because we can. So now when we go back to our home screen, you can see it's alive, it's living. Another thing they've gotten rid of is, you'll notice if you swipe this way, there's nothing there. You can't search, but actually it's just right here. You just slide down just a little bit and now you can search iPad. We also have a new flatter keyboard, but pretty much the same that we've seen before. If we double click on the home button, we can get our multitasking windows up. And this is obviously something very new to iOS 7. Before you used to have the dock bar where you could just swipe through your app icons. You couldn't actually see what was on the screen or where you left off. Now you can see. So if I wanna go back to this lovely, our lovely dog friend in his red shirt costume with Vulcan ears, we can do that. And then we can uh, switch right back to anything else that we were doing, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're big fans of that and it's a lot easier to navigate and remember what you were doing in a particular app. So, so that's always a nice feature to have and uh, one that iOS users have certainly been asking for. So that is a very short tour of iOS 7 for iPad. I'm sure as time goes on, uh, the Apple developers and everybody working on iOS 7 to make sure that it is bug free will smooth out a lot of the kinks that are happening. I know we've had a lot of reboots and things like that, but it's as to be expected on an early beta for something. So that is iOS 7 and we hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next video.